tail of Tama Shantar. When Chapman Billies leave the street, Ruthie neighbours, neighbours meet. As market days are wearing late, folk begin to deck the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy and getting food and unco happy. We think na and the lang Scot smiles, and the mosses water slaps and styles that lie atween us and our hame, or sits her sulky, sullen dame, gathering her bruise like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. <laughs> This truth for an honest Tamashanta is he for airy night that canter. All day of him, ne'er a tune surpasses for honest men and bony lasses. Ah, Tam, hadst thou but been so wise as ten thy own wife Kate's advice, she told thee well thou was a skellum, a blethern, blustern, drunken blethern. But for November till October, eh, market night now, wasn't it sober? The ilk a melder with a miller, thou sat as lang as thou had silver. The every nag was God assured, and the smith and the eager road and fluent. At, at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drank with Captain Jean till Monday. She prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drowned in dune, or catch with warlocks in the muck by Alloway's old haunted cup. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think how many counsel sweet, how many length and sage advices the husband free the wife despises. But to your tale. Hey, market night, Tam had got planted, uncle fast by an angle, pleasing finely. The reeman swats that drank divinely, and at his elbow, suit up Johnny. His ancient, trusty Ruthie Crony. Tam looed him like a very brother. They had been foo for weeks together. The night drave on with sangs and clatter, and how the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious with favours secret, sweet, and precious. <laughs> Souter told his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm of thought might rear and rustle. Tam didn't mind the storm of rustle. Care, mad to see a man say happy, e'en drunk to himself among the nappy. As bees flee hame, the lays a treasure, the minutes wing their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, o'er all the hills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread, who sees the flower its bloom is shed, or like the snow falls in the river, moment white, and melts forever. Or like the borealis race that flit ere you can point their place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, he vanishing amid the storm. Nay no man can tether time nor tide. The hour approaches, Tam Mun ride, that hour of night's black arch the key stain. That dreary hour, he mounts his beast and in sick a night he tacks the road and his near poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as to blown its last. The rattling showers rose in the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep and lang the thunder bellowed that night. A child might understand the deal had business in his hun. A wheel mounted in his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tam scaled the own through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whiles holding fast his good blue bonnet. Whiles crooning o'er some old Scots on it, whiles glowering run with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawn nigh her guests in who looks night the cry. By this time he was cross the ford, on the snow the chapman spore, past the burnt and weakle stain, where drunken Charlie brack his neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters found the martyr bear, and near the thorn aboon the well, her mongrel's mother hanged herself. The forum, doon pours o' his floods. The Dublin storm roars through the woods, lightnings flash from pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll, and glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Galloway seemed in a blaze. Through all the bore, the beams were glancing, and loud resounded mirth and dancing. It's inspiring John Bolcar, John 
Will John Ballycone. What dangers thou canst make us scorn? We tip nae, we fear nae evil. We ask ye, ba, we'll face the devil. The swats, say reamed in Tammy's noddle. Fair play, he cared na deals a bottle. But Maggie stood right sair astonished, till with a heel and a hand admonished, she ventured forward in the light. And vow, Tam saw an uncle sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance. Nae cotillion brent you for France, but hornpipes, jigs, strathspeys and reels put life and metal in their heels. I went up bunker in the east. There sat old Mick, in shape of beast, a towsy type, black, grim and large. To give him music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and gat them skirtle to roof and rafters o' the dirl. Coffins stood round the open presses that shod the deed in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cold hand held a light, whereby heroic Tam was able to note upon the haley table a murderer's banes and gibbet arms, twa span lang wee and crescent bairns, a thief new cutted fair rape, where his last gasp had gubbed a gape. Five tomahawks with blood red rusted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his own son o life bereft, the grey hairs yet stuck to the heft, with mare a horrible and awful, which even in name would be novel. As Tommy stood amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, and the dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, till Ilka Carlin swat and reek it, and cussed her duddies to the wark, and link it at it in her sark. Oh, Tam, Tam, had they been queens, all plump and straightened in their teens, their sarks, instead of creasy flannin, but snow white seventeen hundred linen. Her bricks of mine, my only pair of ends were plush and good blue hair. I would have given them half my hardies for a blink or a bonny birdies, but with her beldums, old and droll, rig woody hags would spin a fall loping and flinging in a crummock. I wonder, didn't it turn thy stomach? <laughs> but Tam Ken, what was what foo brawler, there was he went some wench in Wally that night enlisted in a corps. Long after Ken and Carrick shore, for many a beast did deed she shore. I had perished money a bonny boat, and shook be meekle corn and beer, and held the countryside in fear. Her cutty sack, old Paisley Harden, and while a lassie she had borne, and longitude though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vaunty. Ah, little Kent thy reverend granny, that sat she coughed for her wee nanny with twa pun scots. It was our riches, whatever grace to dance of witches. And here, alas, my muse man cur. Sick flights are far beyond her power. To sing how nanny lap and flang, a supple jade she was, and strang, and how Tam stood as ain bewitched, and thought as very een enriched. Even Satan glowed and fudged through fain and hoached and blew with might and main till first a caper, sign another. Tam tint his reason all together and rose out, Well done, cutty sack! And in an instant all was dark, and scarcely had he Maggie rallied when out the hellish legion sallied. As bees buzz out with angry fight when plundered herds assail their bike. As open pushes mortal foes when oh, she starts before the nose, as eager runs a market crowd when catch the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs. The witches follow, when many an elder excretes and hollow. Oh, Tam, Tam, thou get thy fern, and hell will roast thee like a heron. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, Kate soon will be a woeful woman. But dare I speed the utmost, Meg, win the keys to the brig. There at the end, thou thy tail may toss, a running stream they dare not cross, but ere the keys stain she could make, the faint a tail she had to shake. For Nanny, 
Far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie's breast, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little was she Maggie's mettle. A spring broke off her master hail, but left behind her own grey tail. The carlin clucked her by the rump, and left bare Maggie's scarce a stump. Now, for this tale of truth shall read, Ilk man, ilk mother's son, take heed. And ere to drink you're inclined, or cut his saps run in your mind, think you may buy the joys o'er dear. Remember, Thomas Shandler's mayor. Yeah.